Hey guys, it's Steph with DebtFreeSpending.com and we are so excited that you are here to talk to us or to hear us talk about Minecraft tonight a little bit. Many of you, our readers, do know that I'm a teacher by day. I have a master's degree as a reading specialist and I also have a one-year English as a second language certificate here in Pennsylvania, which we call an ESL certificate. But I also help students that are low in reading and math and I also do enrichment, which uh, is for students that do really well in school. And so... One of the things I've used for my high kids and my kids that struggle are uh, activities that involve Minecraft. And so I really have spoken with a lot of teachers who really know nothing about Minecraft. They can't tell me what it is. They don't even know anything about it. Some teachers know a little bit about it, but they really don't know how it applies to, the ch to, to help students learn. And so we're going to have a mess of activities for you in this blog post, but we wanted to do a video as well. So we'll put the link to the blog post in the description under the video. But I brought my husband Adam on board tonight because I really wanted him to explain a little bit more in depth about Minecraft. I do know a lot about it, but I don't know it. I probably can't talk about it as easily as Adam can. So I guess my first question is, obviously Minecraft is a video game that kids play. They can play it on the Xbox. They can play it on their iPod, All on the All the computer. gaming systems except the Nintendo. Wii. Yeah. Okay. Um, it could be on your device, too, on your uh, portable device as well. Um, what about, like, a DS? Do you know if it's on, for DS? No, it's not on the Nintendo okay. DS. No. Okay, but for all these other platforms, you yeah, can have all it. Yeah, on your, on your Android and iOS systems, and then... Um, yeah, all your gaming systems except Nintendo. Basically, all Nintendo products. It doesn't. They don't have it. And it could be played on your um, PC, your your yeah. laptop, or your computer. Okay. So basically, it's a game where students are and, and kids are building. Right? They're building by using these blocks. Building and and tearing down. I mean, they can they can break stuff to tear down to build to rebuild stuff. Okay. So you. It's not just building. I mean, you get. You know, right, I but, guess it kind of goes together. But. Right, and if, if those of you who don't know anything about it, the graphics are really old school looking. Yeah, basic, I mean, it looks basic like graphics. looks almost like Atari from the '80s. It's kind of scary, but anyways, it's, it's 16 bit or 18 or 8 bit, I think, or 16 yeah. bit. Yeah. So the point very... the point of the game is not about the gaming itself, as far as like the graphics and you know looking really cool. It's more about the technique and the different worlds. So. Kids create these worlds, and they build within these worlds. And so as far as I'm aware, there's two different types of worlds. Mm -hmm. There's creative worlds mm -hmm. where there's nothing attacking them. They can just build creatively. I mean, we're talking extensive building, buildings with, you know, doors and windows, and they have, you know, they can build furniture inside the rooms. And, like, like Adam built a whole cathedral one night, and so my, my husband and my son are both into it. They play it together a lot. And so they can build in creative. What Anything else they can build besides buildings? Well, there's bridges. all kinds of different structures. I mean, okay, you know, um, but they're not building cars or anything. It's you mostly. can build a v you can no, they don't they wouldn't run, but you can build a truck or a car that would look like yeah. a truck or a car. Yeah, um, you but can, you can build a city. Really. All types of yeah monuments and you know I've seen uh, the Empire State Building. I've seen you know the um, um, Lady Liberty and okay. Uh, you know, <laughs> I don't know why he's giving me that look. Anyways, so the other thing is you you have to build is, is you then you go into survival and that's where it gets a little tougher because yeah. you're actually playing the game. You're playing a game then. Yeah. You're trying to survive yeah. where you're. You have to um, create your own resources. Um, you know, pickaxe and shovel to to dig to or to mine these. Uh, uh, dirt and, and stone and things to build your house and then you have to actually manufacture <laughs> serious what a... i don't know you're just striking me funny okay um <laughs> you have to manufacture these things build yourself a home so you're protected at night uh from the right from creepers the, yeah the googlies and the zombies and the skeletons creepers. oh yeah. they are called those things yeah skeletons and zombies and spiders and creepers oh my no okay <laughs> um, so but you would you know Make torches out of uh, coal that you mine, and, and or out of charcoal, and okay. so you can light up the area, and so it's just, and, and actually kill kill cows. I mean, it's there's no blood or guts or anything, but like you know, kill a cow or a pig that are roaming around, so you can have food. So you know, when your energy gets low, right? So, so you're actually trying to learn how to survive in these worlds mm -hmm. and things like that. Yeah. Okay. So you can build in the creative world. And in survival. You have to build in survival, You build too. in survival, yeah. but you also have to survive in survival. Yeah. Okay, any other kinds of worlds that, that you know of that we need to know? Uh, I know in the creative world, actually you can do it in both uh, survival mode or creative mode. You can build what's called a super flat world where there's no mountains, no trees, 
you know, no hills, no rivers, no water, you know, anything. It's all flat. Um, and that's for mostly for creative. So you can, you know, start from nothing and just and build up from there if you want to. Okay. So, so basically how this relates to math is I wanted that there's the four different operations and obviously addition and subtraction are the first two. And so when they're, the kids are building blocks, you know, they're laying block, right? And with any kind of tool, they're just laying it. They just lay it you with just, their you controller. Put it, you, you select it in the, in the, you know, where you, you know, in the bottom of the screen, you scroll over to select which item you want and you're basically holding it in your hand and you're, you're placing the placing block. the blocks. Yeah. Okay, so when you're adding blocks together, I try to explain to students. Obviously, when you know um, you can either buy actual blocks for students that are in elementary school and they're learning to add. Um, you could actually you know use real blocks with them, and so you. The, I really want parents to understand. I think from this video. The terminology is really what I'm looking for them to understand. And so, you know, obviously building blocks is, has to do with adding. And then when you're destroying something with a pickaxe, mm -hmm. what's that called? Pickaxe? Mining. When you're mining. Okay. Yeah. So when you're mining is when you're taking away. And obviously that's when you're going to be subtracting. So in adding, you're building. And when you're mining, you're taking away or subtracting. Mm -hmm. And then obviously when you're doing multiplication, you're going to be tell, like skip counting is basically where you're teaching children how to count in multiples. So if you're skip counting twos, you're counting two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. If you're skip counting threes, it's three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, and so on and so forth. And so you're trying to teach students how to skip count when you're teaching them multiplication. You're also teaching them that it's that multiplication is a quick way to skip count. Instead of, you know, and that's what I try to tell them when I'm first teaching them how to multiply, I'm saying, okay, let's lay a block of four. One, two, three, four. There's our first row. Let's lay our second block of four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's lay our third row of block. 9, 10, 11, 12, and we go through the sequence on and on and on, and I'm teaching them how to skip count by laying rows of blocks in their Minecraft worlds. Now, some of the time I've actually taken my PC in or my Mac, which is a laptop. I'm going to let you go for a minute, maybe intercede with baby there, and I'm going to keep talking if you want to come back to our yeah, conversation. He'll be right back. Bye. So anyways, so what I'm teaching them is I'm teaching them how to lay blocks in rows, and then what I'm telling them is that, that multiplication is a quicker way to skip count. And instead of counting out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, I'm teaching them you're counting by 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, and that's the idea behind multiplication. Once they get the idea of skip counting, and, and, and sometimes, like I said, I take my, my Mac in and I, you know, turn on my Minecraft and they can actually lay block as they're counting and doing out, you know, with the manipulative there kind of in their mind there. But, but I think what the, the technique is that is giving me so much success as a teacher is the fact that the kids are so into it and they think it's so cool that a teacher knows about it and, you know, that I can understand it. And, you know, when I'm using the expressions and terms like that, um, you know, I'm really helping them. Uh, you know, uh, make feel connected, I guess, to the content. So I'm, I'm bringing something that they don't understand into a world that they do understand and making it understandable, if that makes sense. So we're going to just have Adam come back really briefly here and tell us if there's any other. We're going to have a whole bunch of ideas in the blog post, but I really just wanted parents to have a little idea of what Minecraft is about so that they understand just the very basics of it. And if you get a chance to Google anything about it, You'll see that there are different characters. Obviously, when you're in survival, the creeper is the guy coming to get you. And now, who is Steve? Can you explain who Steve is? Steve is your character. That's your what do you? What's the word for it? Your, like your um, not your avatar. avatar. Yeah, but everybody is Steve. You can't change that. Yeah, you can change your skin. Is what it's called. But basically, the the character. Okay. But yeah, and you can you can name your own characters. So Steve is who you start out with. <clears throat> but you can actually change who you want to yeah. be. Okay. So then also, <coughs> is there me. any multiplication or any kind of math skills that they're learning? Yeah, I mean, learning? if you're going to build a building, let's say you're going to, um, and it would be like a nine by nine building, well, I mean, you know. How many blocks do you need? Yeah, I mean, you don't really, counting it out uh, one row and then counting another row off of that row um, is helpful, but it's not like, I guess if you needed it, uh, if you only had, if you were in survival mode and you only had a certain amount of blocks, and you needed to build a home or a house to survive in, you would uh, need to have, like I said, a certain amount of blocks and you would need to know. Right, how but many... as a teacher, I'm using it in the classroom, right. telling students, build me a wall 
that's yeah. nine blocks wide yeah. by nine blocks yeah, tall and tell perfect. me how many blocks are that's in there perfect. total. Yeah. That's how I'm using it. You can it. use it that way. Yeah. But in the game, you wouldn't. You don't need math to know how to, to no, play the game. No, right. No, but you can <clears> use Minecraft to learn math. Oh, absolutely. The parents. Absolutely. Okay, and then the other thing is when they're when they're multiplying, the the actual animals do like mate. Kids don't really. They don't really. I mean, they. They don't, but they actually just have little hearts that come up above the animals and they, they spawn them, right? Mm -hmm. They call it spawning. Mm -hmm. And then how many, does it always create the same amount, number of animals or does it depend? Oh, there's only a certain amount on the game that you can do of any type of animal or creature, whatever, um, that you want to spawn because it'll, it'll give you a limit. I forget how many it is, but it'll give you a limit on, you know, how many it'll say, it'll say on your screen, you know, not enough there's okay. too many and whatever, but I mean, it's... Okay. Does it always give you... What was but your... I mean, like, every time you spawn an animal, do you get the same new number? Like, if it, if two, the two wolves come together, do you get... So, one. Just one? Yeah. And how often can you spawn animals? Uh, it says in the instructions, but I don't know right offhand. But that's only in survival mode. No, it's... Uh... You can spawn animals in creative as well? I think so, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I wasn't sure. Okay. And then um, the other thing was just, you know, as far as... Is there anything else that parents really need to know about the game of Minecraft, I guess is my question. Um, that you think is important? Well, I, I know it's safe. It's a safe game. Um, There's not a lot, no blood and guts or anything. No, Even no. when they're killing, do they kill other people, right? When yeah, they're and they're usually the bad guys. I mean, it's not Creepers. Like, yeah, okay. I mean, it's, it's, you know. But it's not graphic. No, because. there's no bloodshed or anything like that. Okay, so it's really minimal. Okay, well, that makes me feel better talking to parents about it, but definitely going to be showing you some ideas on how to incorporate Minecraft into a math lesson and just really wanted parents to have a little bit of a basic understanding of what Minecraft even is, you know, and so if you haven't had a chance, definitely Google some more about it, but we wanted you to know just kind of the basics as well, and so we'll be talking, like I said, in the blog post about all different kinds of activities. I'll have to, you know, I'm going to include some links uh, to different free printables and things that I can find of the internet for, for parents as well. So hopefully you guys are having a great night and I'll talk to you later. Bye.